Hi, and welcome to another Type With Me. In this week's episode, I want to talk about how to speed up your TypeScript project. So the tool that I want to introduce to you today is SVC, Speedy Web Compiler, a Rust-based platform for the web. SVC can very easily compile JavaScript and TypeScript files by using modern JavaScript features and outputs them to things that can be interpreted by all major browsers. Like you can see right here, it's 20 times faster than Babel on a single thread and 70 times faster on four cores, which is great, right? We all love to have more time. So with this one, it's a wonderful tool and we are going to explore it and add it to an existing TypeScript project. Right, let's start with just using a very simple express.js application, which is a TypeScript application, right? And add that tool that I showed you so that we have a faster compilation. So we need to install SVC CLI and SVC or SWC core, right? So I'm going to do that. This can take a while, so let's just do it. I will come back to you when it's been installed. Right, so it's been installed. And if we're going to take a look here into our application, you will see here that we have dev dependencies uh, added to our application, right? So for this example, I'm going to use a source folder where I put my index.ts so we can remove this one, right? and we can then use our source folder much easier and i'm going to put some extra scripts in our package.json so i'm going to go for swc and then dot slash src and then our output directory and then this so when i now just save package.json and i do pm run fast build I get here a new file index.js you need to know that um, this is the most simple and most basic thing that he can do you'll see here that we have some kind of typings right and he just removes that but for the rest he just yeah uses um, everything and then cleans everything up right so if we then now do node dot we get api listening at and then our express api has been launched right we can do and use some kind of configuration for our uh, typescript um, so i can do something like dot swcrc just a file and then we're going to put here some kind of configuration, right? So you can see here that the parser can be of syntax uh, TypeScript. We can use decorators, we can use dynamic imports, and then again, yeah, this can be very handy to use to give a little bit more guidance to the compiler, right? So again, if we now use npm run fast build, see here that it's still working, but the output is a little bit different, right? Again, here you see that it's using require, 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 and that he is yeah, changing the syntax a little bit. So that's a little bit better. We also have source mapping there so great that's the next step just create an swcrc file and then put something like this in it right again also here module type common js is something that you then can say to the compiler of swc that he needs to do it like that so what about typing, right? 
because if we now do fast build, well, it will compile our index.ts file to an index.javascript file, but if we make mistakes in our typings, well, then uh, it's just gonna work, right? I'm gonna show it to you because we can, for example, make a big mistake, just create, remove this one. Well, it's normally an error. If we now do uh, npm run fast build, run fast build, right? It's going to work. Hey, it's working, but we have an error, right? A TypeScript error, and that's not great. So what we could do is just add here something like um, like this. So we can add here. And and tsc, which is TypeScript compiler, dash w, dash dash pretty, dash dash skip lip check, dash dash new mid, right. And this will help us to just say, hey, your application is not right. There is an error in your typings. If you now do npm run fast build, you'll see here that uh, we get an error. We found an error and yeah, doesn't work right so of course I'm gonna put it back if you now do npm run fast build you get here that there are no errors found uh, watching for file changes so again this dash dash this dash watch is just, is just a watcher, right? So maybe it's better to just do it like this. So I'm just gonna do npm run fast build. And then again, you see here that successfully compiled one file with SVC. Here again, if we just make a mistake, I'm just gonna do something like this. we get an error because of course it's not right so again this is how you could use swc to get faster compilation of your typescript files and again have also some kind of uh yeah checking that your typings are correct right just by doing tsc dash dash pretty dash dash skip lip check dash dash no omit and this dash dash no omit will just do the trick to no generation on index.js file again if i do this for example i do a delete just something that i want to check because again i like to check things <laughs> right i'm just gonna do something like this only type checking so if I now do s and if I now do npm run only type then I just want to see all right, we don't have any files, right? So if you now do no emit and you just remove no remit, you will see here that it generates an index.js file, right? And that's something that we don't want, right? So I'm just gonna do it like this. And I'm gonna remove it again. Yeah, it's really great to just check things out and just play around with things. I really love that. So if I now do npm run fast build, again, you see that one file with SVC and that's been compiled and that's the time that it uses for compiling that, right? Great. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it and that you're going to use um, SWC into your projects. Thank you so much. If you liked this video, please give us it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.